Hey everyone, welcome to Surf Soon, a numerically rated Surfcraft review series. If you dig this episode, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get to the show. In this episode, I'll be reviewing an 8.7 Alpha Twin Reverse V by Maurice Cole. The Alpha Twin is Maurice Cole and Real Water Sports' sixth collaboration in surf design. The idea was to build a Swiss Army knife design that works for almost anything the ocean provides. Its pulled-in outline, complemented by Maurice's reverse V-design bottom contour. Is it a glider or a big step up? Well, let's get a closer look. The nose rocker and tail rocker are pretty elevated for a longer length style surf craft, allowing a little more wiggle room dropping in and making aggressive turns on more critical waves. The nose has a down rail to a fuller low rail in the middle, and the tail has a performance rail with hard edge starting 26 inches from the tail. The bottom, well, it's very interesting. It starts with a V under the chest to a double concave, which then meets a set of channels. This episode is presented by Farrah Board Bags. Based out of San Diego, Farrah has the answer to anyone with several boards and no covers. Their brand ethos is durability, sustainability, and adjustability. Our favorite feature of these bags is that they can fit any length longboard easily and securely. As a bonus to our disorganized surfers, they developed the Traveler Fin Wallet. This 10 by 11 inch wallet is an easy answer for everyday surf, travel, and adventure. All Ferro products are handmade in the USA, and they're given back 1% of the sales to the Palos Verdes Kelp Restoration Project. All right, first impressions. So, if you know me, you know that this is not something that I would normally gravitate towards whatsoever. I mean, is it a gun? Is it a longboard? It's a little bit of everything. Um, it's so wild. Uh, the rails, this reverse V, um, the V kind of starts like up here. Um, these channels, I don't love channels. Uh, it's got a boatload of nose rocker. And uh, yeah, let's get to categories. All right, so maneuver, I gave it an 8.75. And I'll be honest with you, this long rail line and the narrowness of this board, I wasn't sure what it was gonna do. But this reverse V that Maurice Cole apparently came up with as a mistake, uh, I could really feel it really kind of almost transfer energy and start to turn from here. I had a few of those, uh, they call it like a fade in longboards where you go left and then you go right. And I had a few of them on this board and it was kind of bananas because you could really feel the board start to gain speed in the left. And then immediately when I put my back foot right around here, this thing just swung around and I wouldn't say it's a great turn as far as going all the way roundhouse. I think the rail line's a little too long, but if you just wanna go up and then do one of those really good, dramatic, hard turns, this thing is bananas. And it turns really well in kind of crappy surf, which is nice too. Uh, but yeah, category, Drive is really where you're gonna see this thing fully excel. Drive, 9.5 and uh, absolutely. Longer rail line is really working in this type of situation. It's narrow, but it also has this drive when you're off your back foot and you're doing your bottom turn these channels and it being a twin fin, it just blasts through everything. Uh, very fun to surf, again, as I said, in kind of crappy waves, but when it gets a little bit bigger and a little bit better, this thing really excels, especially in a longer wave, but in crappy, like crummy, small stuff that I would normally not take out even like a longboard. 
I was very surprised at how this thing was just beating sections through and through. Super fun. And uh, yeah, so that's drive. Trim, 8.75. And uh, a few things to kind of keep in mind about this. Now, this board is considered a Swiss Army Knife style board, a possibly Desert Island board. So there's a lot of factors that go into this board that help in other categories. Trim, what you have to remember, although this is a wide point forward template, I found that it trims the best in the back. It definitely trims very well, but the minute that you start to get up into this area, it does kind of slow down a little bit. So you ever see like Rob Machado ride his seaside and beyond, you'll notice that he's always on the tail the whole time. And that's because that's where all the water is passing through and that's where he's getting all of his drive and trim. So that's just a suggestion. Volume distribution, duck dive, 7.75. All right, this thing's 8.7. Let's get into volume distribution first. So volume distribution, uh, as I said, in trim, you're gonna find your fastest area of the board is gonna be back here. But since it's so tapered here, and it still has the volume though, it does turn very well. Um, all in all, this thing is kind of more built for speed, almost glider-ish. But as far as duck dive, believe it or not, I was able to get this thing underwater. But if it's big, and I hate to say these things, there's a little leash plug right here. You might want to attach a leech because honestly, you're gonna want to ditch this board if it gets really heavy. But all in all, I was very surprised. And if you're surfing a point break, then I would say you're totally good. Absolutely. But if it's crushy, gnarly beach break like we get in New Jersey, it's not gonna duck dive that well. But that's okay. Paddling, I gave it a nine. And uh, you know, why wouldn't I? Uh, it's got enough nose rocker to go through just about anything. It's pulled in in the nose, so that way it's not super bulky, unlike other mid links in this size. And uh, it's almost gun outline. I mean, it is practically like a gun outline. It's just the, the volume's way different and it's a twin fin. But uh, you know, me paddling this thing, like I felt like it was unfair to other people because I was just catching waves and paddling around people. With it being nine inches above where the, uh, the widest point is, all of that paddle power is right underneath your chest, making it super easy. I mean, this thing made me feel slightly invincible and I'm sorry that I'm so psyched on this thing, but it was such a fun board. All right, in special moments, I gave it a nine, and absolutely, this thing was so much fun. Uh, I did not have a bad session on this at all. I wrote it in really small stuff, and it really kind of made it very optimizable for the conditions that I was putting it in. Even when it was onshore choppy crap, this thing just excelled. Uh, I love the way that it turns and it has this certain feeling when you do a real turn, it almost feels like the whole board lifts up out of the water. And I had a friend, this guy, Jordan, tried this board and I would told him about that situation. He was like, yeah, I totally felt that. So uh, it's not just me, it's got these weird sensations, super fun. Fins, uh, I only tried one set. These are the NVS Maurice Cole fins that when I purchased this board from Real, which is the only place that you can purchase this board, by the way, just so you know, um, this was the fin set that was suggested to me. And I'm not gonna try different fins for a board like this 
it's too interesting already to start to mess around with fins and get different feels. I'm just gonna go with whatever the shaper shaped fins for, and that's exactly what this is. Um, I'm not a big twin fin guy, so I don't have enough to really mess around with too many. If this board was a single fin, although it would probably be not as fun, uh, I'd have a ton of different fins. But as far as this board, this is what they suggest, and I'm not going to argue with them. All right, and final thoughts. Um, again, this is not something that I would normally ride. Uh, my friends were uh, slightly thrown off by me bringing this to the beach. But let me tell you, it checks a lot of boxes, especially if you are a East Coast guy during the summer. You do not know what you're gonna get till you get down to the beach. And if you only have room for one board on top of your car or in your car, this is a good option. It's checking off boxes. Uh, it's great in the small stuff. It's great in the windy stuff and pretty, pretty good in the bigger stuff as well. I was lucky enough to talk to Trip over at Real uh, Water Sports and we compared some notes and me being New Jersey, him being North Carolina, we're kind of looking for the same things and Trip, you kind of killed it on this one. This is my first Maurice Cole and I am psyched on it. It is a beautiful board and again, Swiss Army knife. You know, it's it works great for everything. Beginner board, not really. But guy going from a long board onto something shorter, really, really good board. Guy going from a maybe small little fish and wants to move up into a bigger mid length, especially in this length, uh, great option. Again, super stoked on this one. Very cool stuff. Alpha pin. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to share, comment, and all that good stuff. Until next time, there are always waves in the way, so hang tight, surf soon. A great way to support the show even further is to grab some of our limited edition apparel. All of our apparel is designed and printed in-house by us at Surfcraft Union. purchase, you can visit our website at www.surfcraftunion.com.